Hello future scientists! Today we will continue our lesson on Unit 2, Mixing Materials, Dissolving. We are going to collect and record observations and our measurements in tables and diagrams. And we are going to identify risk and explain how to stay safe during practical work. We will assess at the end of the lesson if you can name two materials that dissolve in water and one that does not. And can you ask a scientific question and plan the right type of scientific inquiry to find the answer? These are some useful links to help us understand the lesson better. And with these new words, okay, it will help you to talk about the science. So please get your yellow notebook and write these keywords. Dissolve means when a material mixes with a liquid and becomes part of the liquid so that the solid cannot be seen. Insoluble is a material that will not dissolve in a liquid. Soluble is a material that will dissolve in a liquid. Transparent, a material that you can see clearly through, may be clear or colored. Dissolving is when a material mixes with a liquid and becomes part of the liquid so that the solid cannot be seen. Sugar and salt both dissolve in solution relatively easily, but one dissolves quicker than the other. The cold water isn't able to dissolve as much sugar as the hot water, but why? Another name for the liquids inside the cups is a solution. So when the solution can no longer dissolve sugar, it becomes a saturated solution. This means that sugar starts forming on the bottom of the cup, as you can see here. In this activity, we will investigate how much salt will dissolve in water. Look at the picture to see how to set up the investigation. Put half a spoon of salt into each glass of water, stir each one. Observe to see if the salt dissolves, then add another half spoon of salt to each glass. Stir and observe again. Here it shows three cups of water, one with only a little water, one half full and one full of water. So we need to add half a teaspoon of salt to each cup. Stir, then wait to see if it will all dissolve before adding another half teaspoon of salt. Then we will stop adding salt to a cup when we can see salt that has not dissolved in the bottom of the cup. In this activity, you should record in your table of results how many teaspoons of salt dissolve in the different amounts of water. Remember to use numbers to write halves. Write out the following number sequence like this. 0, 1 half, 1, 2, then 1, 1 half, 1, 1 and a half, etc, etc. So this is your table of results where you will record okay, your observation. In which glass of water did the most salt dissolve? And how does the amount of water affect the amount of salt that will dissolve? Using transparent cups or glasses will make it easier for you to see whether the salt has dissolved. You could put dark colored paper underneath the transparent cups to make it easier to see any undissolved salt. Make sure to record the number of teaspoons of salt that completely dissolve. This will be one half less than the total number of half teaspoons you put into the cup. And take note, do not taste the salt or the salty water. Why? Because it is important to identify things in an investigation that are unsafe and we can write about how you can stay safe. So make sure you wear properly fitting goggles and gloves. Do not eat any of the materials used in the activity. You should not taste any of the materials because the materials and equipment may not be clean. Let's watch this lab safety video to know how you can stay safe. The sugar dissolve thit. These girls are making iced tea and hot tea with sugar. Is sugar healthy or unhealthy? And why? Sugar is not healthy for thit and for human hearts. Too much sugar can lead to tooth decay. Holes called cavities formed in the enamel of teeth. Sugar does not dissolve teeth, but it allows the bacteria to make an acid that thus dissolve teeth. The bacteria eat the sugar. In this solution formula in picture A, a cup of sugar in a cold tea or water dissolves slowly. 
how. In a cold tea or water, the particles move slower and interact at a slower rate. Therefore, the sugar cube will dissolve the slowest in a cold tea or water. This cap shows granulated sugar dissolves in cold water more quickly than a sugar cube, especially with stirring. When granulated sugar dissolves faster than a sugar cube, have to do with surface area. A sugar cube is tightly compacted granulated sugar, meaning it has less uh, surface area exposed to the solvent. Granulated sugar has a significantly higher surface area exposed to the solvent, allowing it to dissolve faster. And this glass, granulated sugar dissolves very quickly in hot tea. Why? Because sugar dissolves faster in hot water than it does in cold water. Because hot water has more energy than cold water. When water is heated, the molecules gain energy and thus move faster. Now, which liquids will salt dissolve in? So there's cooking oil here, vinegar, water, salt, sugar. Most solids, including sugar and salt, become more soluble with increasing temperature. This is because heat increases molecular movement, causing more collisions between the water molecules and a solid. Salt is soluble in water and vinegar. Salt is insoluble in cooking oil. So, salt and oil are not chemically alike. One is charged, the other is not. As a result, when salt is added to oil, no bonds are broken. Salt and oil simply do not mix. So, when combined, they remain distinctly separate. To make the test fair, what will you need to keep the same? As you can see, the boy could do research to find the answer, but because he has all the materials, he can do a fair test. Please follow this simple set of instructions to help you remember how to plan a fair test. Change one thing. Measure one thing. Keep the rest the same. You should draw a diagram to show how you will complete the test and use labels to show how you will make it a fair test. When writing sentences to record your results, use the words soluble and insoluble in your sentences. And why is it unsafe to taste the materials? Of course, you should not taste any of the materials because the materials and equipment may not be clean. Okay, so for your research, look at this picture, find out how to avoid this kind of accident in the laboratory, and share your thoughts in the class. And something to think about, why does the size of sugar affect how quickly it dissolves in water? Because the smaller the sugar granule, the faster it will dissolve in water. It is better to use sugar granules rather than sugar cubes if you put sugar in a cup of tea. Future scientists, thank you for listening.